and it is a unfortunately it has become a bit of a familiar feeling as for the second time since Governor Shapiro took office we've reached July 1st and the budget deadline has passed with no approved budget and July 1st is not just some arbitrary date that's thrown out there it is on the Pennsylvania Constitution and the governor as well as state lawmakers have been working throughout the last week to try to get something done and they did show some optimism late last week that they would be able to reach a deal soon now the Democratic controlled House is going to return today while the Republican controlled state Senate they were last here on Thursday before they recess for the weekend as well and if you recall Shapiro unveiled what is he called an, an ambitious budget back on February 6th the 48.3 billion dollar plan relies on about three billion dollars in reserve money to help balance it out with one of the major features being 1.1 billion dollars for Pennsylvania's public schools. Now, it was also during that same address that the governor also said he wanted to legalize adult use marijuana in the Commonwealth. That would follow in the footsteps of states such as New York, New Jersey, Maryland, and Ohio. Now, if you're wondering what could happen if this budget isn't approved in a timely manner, well, the Commonwealth would lose some of its ability to pay its vendors, as well as pay counties, and, of course, the public schools that are in that budget. And despite this, the Commonwealth can still make debt payments, cover Medicaid costs, it can issue unemployment money and ensure that the state police will remain on the patrol. So again, the legislator will be back here at the Capitol today to try to hammer out some sort of deal as soon as possible. And just in case you were wondering, the 2023 budget, that did not get approved until December 15th. So they're hoping that they get that done a lot sooner this time around.